Hi class, my instructional software picks focus on middle level education math. Flashcards with Cram is a free online program or app that's included in Drill and Practice. It has a large database to search for sets of flashcards or you can create your own. It uses a modified Leitner system to move cards to higher levels of achievement until all your cards reach the top level. Its relative advantage is that students are motivated to engage in learning math terms quicker with immediate feedback on the computer and or mobile devices. Here's the CRIM website. You can create flashcards here or choose a set of theirs here and this shows you how many flashcards are within the website. A bonus with this is that teachers can create sets of cards or students with text and pictures. Also, I've chosen to work with this on math terms, but it can also be used with practically any subject. For tutorials, Braining Camp provides interactive math lessons online and through apps. Their goal is to actively engage students in abstract math concepts with hands-on, visual, real-world learning. The relative advantage is that students can self-pace in an interactive learning environment with an intention getting visual display. Looking at the Pythagorean Theorem tutorial on here, you go through the lesson, use manipulatives, then you can answer questions, solve real-world problems, and have a challenge. I chose this software as a tutorial because it provides all information and instructional activities for the topics. And here's what it can do. Hello and welcome to Braining Camp on YouTube. <clears throat> Here you will find videos for teaching and learning math in visual and dynamic ways. Braining Camp is available online for PCs and Macs or as apps for the iPad. It includes lessons, manipulatives, questions, real-world problems, and interactive practice. So take a look around and sign up for a free trial at BrainingCamp.com. Okay, next we have simulations, and the Gizmos is a simulation software that gives access to hundreds of interactive math and science simulations for grades 3 through 12. It organizes topics by academic standards, grade and topic, or textbook, and focuses on conceptual understanding, providing engaging visuals for students to manipulate. Its relative advantage is that students visualize concepts, gain real-world experience through interactive activities, understand relevance, and stay motivated. It also uses physical and iterative simulations. So you only get five minutes to try a simulation out on their website and is actually a pretty short time because the simulations are very fun and interactive. So here's a shortened video for the purpose of this presentation, but you can watch the entire video on their website. <laughs> Once I started to use gizmos, they really revolutionized and changed the way I've taught certain topics. For the first time, I saw kids really engaged and really being able to interact with the content. The default for them when they begin to work with the gizmo is, this is interesting, I want to know more about this. If you used right, it can lead into project-based learning, which leads to deeper understanding, <laughs> which leads to more engagement, and you win. Gizmos are online simulations that really help students make sense of uh, challenging math and science concepts uh, through inquiry and exploration. They can manipulate variables, they can do what-if investigations, uh, so that's a whole new dimension to what you can do in the classroom compared to uh, reading a textbook or watching a video, for example. They have complete control over the manipulative, and they're so comfortable with the technology. As soon as they see it, they want to move stuff around, and they want to figure out how it works. Simulations take events that could happen over days, weeks, months, sometimes even years, and bring it into a few minutes. If we did labs for two weeks straight, we would barely be able to cover everything that's in that gizmo. So as I click play here, what's going on in this image? I am really a strong proponent of, of gizmos, both for math as well as for science, because I have seen firsthand what it does in terms of problem solving and critical thinking. The more trials you do, the more it looks like you're Yeah, the more it looks like you're 
Okay, so for the instructional game, I chose Times Attack. While there are many drill and practice software programs devoted to this core math knowledge, Times Attack is a very engaging virtual game suite for students, and they can learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, and now they have a new addition for division. Um, its relative advantage is that students are thoroughly engaged and highly motivated while playing a game that gives them immediate feedback with audio and visuals. It's a fabulous instructional game that students actively participate in and they want to level up and destroy the creatures that, that are in the game. <clears throat> I've tutored a lot of children that recall playing this game years later because it's really a lot of fun. And here's a quick tour of just the division expansion pack to kind of get a feel for the platform. Okay, last but not least is problem solving programs. Uh, Reasoning Mind software was chosen for this area and it's a math curriculum that concentrates on reasoning, critical thinking, and what they term as smarter solving. It gets students ready for algebra, teaches problem solving skills, and uses algorithms that adapt to challenge learners during lessons and problems. The relative advantage for this one is that students are more interested and apply problem solving techniques with graphic displays to enhance learning. I thought this one was interesting because Reasoning in Mind is a non-profit but it's a very well developed program and here's their overview. Next generation assessments like Smarter Balanced, Park, and others require radically more advanced problem solving skills than previous tests. But your students can meet the challenge with Reasoning Minds Smarter Solving. These new assessments stand out for their wide variety of problem types, different content, style, difficulty levels, and computerized input methods. Our problems mirror next generation assessments on all of these dimensions, giving students authentic, relevant practice. We even included plenty of practice performance tasks and extended response questions, just like the next generation assessments. When a student gets a problem wrong, they receive a step-by-step -step solution that coaches them through the problem, asking scaffolded, interactive questions to teach them the thinking skills needed to solve complex problems. As students work through content, our system captures rich performance data you can view in the Smarter Solving Teacher Dashboard. You'll be able to pinpoint skills that need extra attention and respond by assigning customizable problem sets, adaptive practice tests, and performance tasks. Whether your goal is review, response to intervention, or preparing for advanced assessments like Park and Smarter Balanced, Reasoning Minds Smarter Solving will help you get the job done. Alright, that's all. Thank you, and I hope I've offered some engaging software choices for your classroom.